Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. The first part of Psalm 132 remembers the heart of David in desiring a dwelling place for the Lord. This is what it says in verses 1 through 5. It says, Remember, O Lord, on David's behalf, all his affliction, how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty one of Jacob, Surely I will not enter my house, nor lie on my bed, I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. There it's expressing the desire that David had to construct and to secure a dwelling place for God. And as we have read uh, previously this year, we found that uh, David was not allowed to actually construct the temple the dwelling place of God, but he did uh, make provisions for it and and set it up to where his son was able to construct uh, the beautiful temple that was constructed. And as we read these verses, we too can perhaps take on the heart of David. Um, maybe not to construct a, a, a temple like he did or to build some type of structure uh, physical structure that is, but the desire to give God space in our lives, to make a way for the dwelling of God, for the awareness of the presence of God in our lives, to have the determination that David had to say, you know what, I'm not going to rest, I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to slumber, I'm not going to let uh, myself drift off into slumber until I have secured for the Lord space in my life, until I have made space for the Lord, the dwelling of the Lord in my life. And this is a good thing to reflect on as we fast approach the new year. Even though we still have several weeks until the new year, uh, it's not, it's never too early or too late to begin to make resolutions. And one of the resolutions we can make is that uh, not just in the upcoming year, but finishing out this year, I want to make space for the Lord. I want to do whatever it takes to pay whatever cost there is to make sure that my attention, my heart, my love, my devotion is all centered on and directed towards the Lord. And that I will not rest until that is the case. And so this might take some diligence on our part. It might mean that we, of course, continue to read our daily readings. But not only that, but that we meditate on the word, focus on the word, allow it to sink in throughout the day. It means us pausing from time to time to reflect on the Lord, uh, to quiet ourselves in the presence of God but also to offer up prayers to the Lord and drawing our hearts close to him in prayer. It also includes us worshiping the Lord, worshiping him from the depths of our heart, worshiping him from our very spirit, from our very being, and spending time to just reflect on the majesty, the greatness, the glory of God. And it means that we do this throughout the day, not just perhaps in the morning with our quiet time, but all throughout the day, we just continually draw our hearts close to the Lord uh, in worship and in praise and in prayer and in meditation. So we too can have a heart like David, even though it may not be uh, to build a physical temple as he had a desire for, but that spiritually speaking, we build a place within our hearts for the Lord to come and dwell, to make space for God in our lives. So let's be encouraged to do that as we read Psalm 132. And with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.